Hello, this is Samadan, and Samadan is on a journey to make gold. Last time we had Stabadan checking the auction house for herbs and relic items to flip on the auction house. In this episode, we're going to carry on our adventure with Samadan in the Western Plague Lands. Here we are in Chill Wind Camp. We've got 15 hours 56 minutes played. We have 535 gold on us. We also have some herbs that we had left over from last time. We also have some raw greater sagefish that we'd fished up and a little bit of uh, ore and cloth and things like that. So things to do here. We are right down here at the bottom of Chillwind Camp. We have the seed quest here, Scourge First, Horde Later, which Azeroth Autopilot is guiding me towards already. I'll see if there are any quests around here first and then we'll take it from there. We've got full rested XP all the way up to just the end of this level. We're at 49 at the moment. And let's go have a look, see if there's anything around here. There's one around the corner here. There's a couple here. We can start with these, I imagine. Right, so a few things around here. We've got some iron deposits here as well. So mining and herbalism along the way. Everything else seems okay. Let's start our adventure. Mining skill is up to 87 at the moment. So ticking along nicely. A ah, new herb, Cadigar's Whisker. I'll have a look at this. So a 6 gold, 16 price. I've sold some before for 4 gold, 36. I've sold 4 of them before. So 6 gold, 16 is a reasonable price. See if we can sell some for that. There we go, those ones done. And we might as well hand those ones back, even though Azeroth Autopilot wants me to go off the other direction. Oh, landed in the fire. Now we already have one ring. We don't have a second ring. So it would make more sense to get a second ring to it's add to what we already have. So we'll go here, add that one on. Now we have two rings. Uh, those that couldn't go with Drawn Soul. Okay, so that's over the other side towards Uther's Tomb. Hopefully we can get some Arthur's Tears around here at some point. Let's go ahead over there. We'll ignore Azeroth Autopilot for the moment. They remind me of shrimp. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's ever thought about that. I used to have shrimp in my fish tank and they looked a lot like this. There's also something else by the water, so I'll just go on a slight detour, collect up some resources. We have a it's life root and then a greater sagefish pool. Where's ah there it is, down the bottom. And then whilst we're here, let's do a spot of fishing. Now that I've got the fishing bug, it's hard to not uh, resist the urge to pick some up from a pool. Take a break and uh, enjoy the fishing as you go. And this is blindweed. I'm not sure if I've had blindweed before. That's blindweed stems. So those are the cheap parts. We'll see if we can get some more. There's more fish pools here, but we'll need to just focus on our mission at the hand for the moment. Light be with you. Okay, so now we start with the Argent Crusade. And this is sending us over here to the Mender's Stead. But obviously we want to go over here to the Battle of Andohal as well, which is what uh, everything else was starting off as it was. Whilst I'm here and there's an innkeeper, let me just sell my extra bits and pieces, the extra junk, clear out some space there. Okay, so off to this area. Now we can use Azeroth Autopilot and we can use the green arrow here to guide us along. Try and be as optimal as possible. Pick up herbs and ore as we go. Maybe even the old fishing pool. And level 50. There we go, something new there. Uh, unsunken Temple. Oh, we know this one. We went into that one. So let's look at the new PvP talents. We have Relentless, and the new one is Freedom of the Herd. Clears all roots and snares uh, from yourself and your allies. What have you got at the moment? Thorns is an instance. Uh, this one could be quite useful. Let's just keep that on for the moment. There we go. Then we'll go on to the other side here. And we'll borrow this fishing pool before we head into the danger zone. 
25 fish. First achievement for fishing. Okay, fishing interlude done. This looks a nice peaceful place until you see all the burning forest in the background. Okay, so Azeroth Autopilot is guiding us to these areas. We'll hand in all the quests. So, heading over this area seems to be the start of it, so let's have a look. Looks like we have a friend here. Let's work with them. There's a lot here, definitely. I'll just use my area effect. It seems to be working quite well. Aha, here it is. This one. Okay, and the last lot are over here to a mage. I'll do a spearman at the same time. There we go. Oops, <laughs> didn't see you there. Okay, this could be difficult. Let me just see what everything's at. Let's do some healing. Got a few extras here. Let's back to our form. Put iron our health. Regrowth. Bit of everything. Wild growth. Might have to shadow meld out of this. Got too many on here at the moment. Go do that. Do this one. This guy doesn't seem to be helping us at the moment, so that's fine. Let's go with this. Slightly difficult area. Oh, there's another one just spawning here. This could be tricky. It's going to be an extra one. Just when I don't need one. Dangerous area here. I could come out of the way here, but I'll try and tough it out. There we go, let's heal that up and prowl our way out of this. Okay, so we are left with another six of the desiccated. Let's go to a slightly less difficult area. We're right in the edge here. That's easy when you've got two people helping you. Let's head over this way. Oh, whoops. Okay, that's not the burst we wanted to get. Let's just hide from there. Got a little bit close there. <laughs> okay, and we need to come out of here as well. Let's go somewhere slightly less crowded. Down here will probably be better. Okay, now we're done. Let's stealth our way past all of this. Yeah, I figured we'd have that one to, go, to do as well. We'll have a belt, or we'll have some boots. I think the belt might be quite nice. I am here to serve. Okay, more people to kill here, so let's go into stealth mode for this one. We'll get ourselves directly in there. The waypoints will take me exactly where I need to go. Right, this is the difficult part. Make sure it's clear around me. There we go, okay, whoops, lots of them around. Wow, that was interesting. What are these? There we go. Phylacracy shard. 
And then we also need to go right inside here by the looks of things. Waypoints tell me exactly where to go. Okay, Rattle Gore. Interesting. Okay. That one was slightly easier. Making good use of our stealth. We'll go to the next one. Oh, interesting. Shadowy prison. Oh, someone else is coming to help out. Thank you. There we go. Cult of the Damned. Okay, enough of this. The Cult of the Damned doesn't need Anderhal. This worthless city is yours to fight over. I'd heard rumours that you were here in Lordaeron. Coltira Deathweaver. Interesting. So let's stealth our way through. Follow Azeroth Autopilot. Okay, so now we've got some shoulders and a wrist. 33 versus 50. 44 versus 50 on those. So I've already got some reasonable shoulders. I'll go with the bracer upgrade, that seems better. I mean, in terms of the vendor sell price, there's not much in it between them. So I'll go with the bracers. And we are level 51. Wow, that was quick. And another PvP talent available. We best click on this, because if you don't click on them, they don't disappear. Okay, some more things. There we go. Okay, so... Next up, you are suggesting to get a flight point. Is that to head back here? Okay, fair enough. That seems easy enough. I need a flight to Chilwyn Camp, please. Okay, that was a good start to the questing, certainly. What can I do for you? First battle, the first battle for Anderhal. Then we need to move on over here to Uther's Blessing, and then we need to go over to Mender's Stead, most likely. So what I'm going to do here is we'll have a look at what we've got at the moment. A few different bits and pieces. Now we have our first lockbox. So that requires lockpicking 125. I don't think Stavadan... Well, Stavadan needs to be level 24 before it can start doing any lockpicking. So that's another reason to level up Stavadan. But we do have a few other bits and pieces here. And I'd also like to go and check and see how my herb resets were going. So I'm going to park myself here in the inn, deal with our bits and pieces. Okay, so over to send stuff on the mailbox, back to Stavadan. Let's go to our TSM group here and we'll add anything in. So anything herb-wise we don't already have doesn't look like it. So we can go here and go straight to send to Stavadan and we'll take tin ore. Iron lockbox, catfish, stone, core stone, blind weed, stem, bear flank, and everything like that. Add all those in. Go to our group and mail selected group. A couple of things missing there, so quickly click the sort and then we'll click mail selected groups again and those will go off. It leaves us with our quest item. And so we're done here for our first stage on Samadan, got up to level 51 quite quickly. So let's park Samadan into here. We'll say goodbye to you for now, Samadan. Hello, Stavadan. How are you? We've come to see if you had any sales since we last looked at you. It wasn't that long ago, to be honest. Less than 12 hours. And we're going to put on all the things that Samadan sent over to you. So let's go on over to the mailbox, see if we've had any updates. Okay, so we have so far some interesting sales. We have the Thoria Moor has sold, the Rune Cloth has sold, the Wool Cloth, Silk Cloth, Mage Weave, Wind Wool and Raw Beast High. So all of those things that are the relics that we've been moving up the price of have all sold, which is lovely to see. Nothing on the herbs yet though, so that seems a much slower moving market compared to these. These are where I've been making more gold it would seem. Then we've got all the extra things from Samadan, we can start adding those to the list. Okay, so there's all our sales. We now have 5,525 gold. A few other bits and pieces here. Any stems and things we can add together? The blind weed stem, we can add those into one blind weed. Everything else is fine. The lockbox is not a lot we can do with now until we level up a bit higher. So that's something to add to a list of things to do in the future. 
let's look at our groups for now. Go to our TSM and have a look at our groups. And there's a few extra things we can start adding in here now. So under miscellaneous trade goods, we can probably add in things like the thick leather, the fish, the heavy leather. At some point, we're going to start further splitting these up into different things. At the moment, it's very much a, a little bit of everything. We can start uh, categorizing this into fish, into meat, leather, ore, and things like that. But for now, it works as just a large catch-all group for everything. The bear flank can go in there, so we'll add those in. The new herb we have here is blindweed, so we'll pop that in there. And the herb part is the stem. Then we have a couple of um, bind on equip items for staff and the boots. So we'll add those to the green BOEs group. Obviously with ignore variations on. So we'll add that in there. Now the boots are already in there. So that's why those have disappeared. Now we have two things here which are not currently in a group at the moment. And we could do something just to keep this list clean. So we could go here under Stabadan's groups and we could make another group here and we could call this do not sell because we want to keep these that way they go in a group and we can just forget about them so the blacksmith hammer and the iron lockbox will add those in that leaves us with both of these with the ignore item variations unchecked we'll just have to remember that those are part of our green BOEs here and then our herb parts are actually part of our do not sell. So we can add those and just drag that in and we can make that a subgroup of this one. And in terms of operations, they don't have any of the, the default operations because I've taken those all off. So that keeps them clean and keeps them out of the group. Okay, so let's go have a look at our auctions, see what's happening with those herbs. Okay, so they're all on there at the moment. Let's start with a quick vendor search just in case. We have a love letter that vendors for a, a few copper more, an axe that vendors for 10 gold more, I'll take that, that's worth getting, and that vendors for a couple of silver so we ignore that one. And then onto our auctioning group, we can, we've got everything here, we could run a post scan, see what kind of prices we get. That silver ore is very expensive at 90 gold. I can't imagine that's going to sell for that price. We'll try it at that price, and we can always come back and do it later. <laughs> we have a fan. So all of these are on the extra herb, the stone, the bare flank. These are kind of like our... These become our bread and butter. These are things that are adding to our markets. All looking quite nice. A nice variety of different items. We'll pop all those on. Now there's something we could try, and that's trying a cancel scan on our herbs to see what's the case with all of those, if we've been undercut on any of those. So if we go down here and deselect all the groups, and we go down to our herbs, so they're mostly already still on the auction house. So what TSM will do here is it'll go through and go and see if we've been undercut on any of our auctions. So if we run a cancel scan down here, now you can see we have a number of auctions that we've been undercut on, which means we're going to have difficulty selling those because someone else has put them on since ours or put them on at a lower price that's still within our threshold. There are ones here, if you remember, we undercut ourselves at several points. So we could ignore those because we want to keep things on at a split price point. We might want to just focus on the ones that we've been undercut on. The rest of these either have not been undercut, which means they're still at the current lowest price, or they are below minimum price at the moment, so there's no point taking those off because when we put them back on, there will still be someone underneath us. So we can go through, we can use our scroll wheel macro for this. I'm gonna skip past these two. So I'm gonna use my scroll wheel macro to cancel these auctions, and then I'm gonna skip this one, skip that one, and cancel that one. So we've taken those off the auction house before they've expired. The reckoning is at hand. Now we can head on back over here and see if we can pop those back on and be the last in and the first out on these, hopefully. We've also got the dockyard axe as well, so we'll take all of these. We'll sell the axe whilst we have it. And then we'll select all of these again. 
select all groups, run a post scan. So now we're putting these herbs back on and we've got the peace bloom. Remember we bought those at 282, they're going for 350, the sorrow moss, gold thorn, coming up at 47 now, so that's a good price. Silver leaf, 209, earth root, 171. So that's a good price after looking at our groups before. So we'll pop those back on, see if we can generate any sales this time. So when I first put those on, that was earlier in the day. It's now been about six or seven hours since then. Normally, I usually let auctions expire. Sometimes you might want to cancel them and put them on at prime time, although bearing in mind I'm in the UK, so prime time for me is actually still lunchtime for many other people. So I might get a better opportunity if I post it later on in the day for me, but that's going to be very early in the morning, really. There is another thing to remember with cancel scans, is that once you reach a certain threshold, I believe it's something like 100 auctions, there's a throttle with Blizzard's auction house system, which will slow down the amount of items that you can cancel. This is deliberately put in place so that it doesn't overload the auction house system, because it discourages people from constantly cancelling auctions and then reposting them on, cancelling them and reposting them on. Whereas when you're only doing a few of these, this is absolutely fine, and we can just put Mars on and see if we can work with the last in, first out system. So we'll give that a go, see what happens with those auctions. We have now 34,000 posted auctions, and we're up to 6,000 in total gold. So that's looking a lot healthier than it was last time we had Stavadan here. I'm going to take a quick look at the relic items, because that's where we made some gold earlier. Okay, I bought a few extra pieces there. We will Let's go through justice. and repost those on. And then put those straight on again and see if we can get a few extra sales that way as well. Okay, so Samadan is all rested at Chillwind Camp, having started the quests in Western Plaguelands. Stavadan is here. We've cancelled some auctions for the first time. We've also listed some things on, see if we get any nice sales over the next day or so. And then we'll come back and we'll see how everything goes and take it from there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, happy gold making and I'll see you very soon.